got a pro and NMR question here where you've got to work out the um, structure of this compound with molecular formula C3H7NO2 and it's one of the rare questions where D2O is applied so if you wanted to have a go at that just pause the video all the information you need on the screen there and then play on for the answers okay so the first thing we're just going to say is you'll notice that the the spectrum on the left's got all of the peaks on that's not done in D2O and then when you put it in D2O you've lost these two peaks here so they're going to be due to um, OH protons or NH protons so the first peak we'll look at is the one at delta 1.2 so this one here and we're just going to write down what we can say from that peak so the first thing I would say is that it's a doublet so we'll get that keyword in straight away what does a doublet mean it means there's an adjacent CH okay so it's got an area of three we'll put that in therefore the signal is being caused by a CH3 and the final thing we're going to say is the environment that it's in it's from its shift value of 1.2 so we'll get off the data sheet that's HCR okay so what that means we can build a picture now of this little bit of the molecule so what's causing that signal that doublet is a CH3 from the area of 3 and next to it adjacent to it is a single hydrogen on a carbon so there's that little piece of the molecule there so moving on to delta 2.8 now, so this one here, we're going to do exactly the same. So this is always the format that I say to my students to put your answers in. So what have we got? We've got a quartet. Therefore, there must be an adjacent um, CH3. It's got an area of 1 so there's one proton in the environment so it must be a CH and environment wise well there's two options the sort of lozenge if you like on the um, data sheet implies that it could either be an H to C to N which is consistent with the atoms we've got or it could be an H to C to C double bond O which again is consistent so effectively what we're talking about now is this signal has been caused by this hydrogen so it's kind of the flip side of what we said here really so this hydrogen's caused that signal and these protons here have caused the splitting pattern but the extra thing we know now is we've either got um, a nitrogen there or we could have a C double bond O. So you can see I've put those up now, those two options. So we'll just go to the peaks that have disappeared now. So we'll go with this one first, the 5.1. So we've got an area of 2, an integration value of 2. So what that means is there are two protons in this environment. Now we know there's a nitrogen in the molecule. And the obvious or the logical thing to do is to say, well, this here, this group here, that could be an NH2 group which is consistent with what we've already said so you notice I've added the molecular formula now of the compound so if we go with this what's left atoms wise is COOH well that other peak that's disappeared up at 11 ppm with an integration of value of 1 well that could indicate a COOH because that is the resonance um, value for a COH proton so if we put that in and just check it all works with what we've said so far so if we go back to this delta 2.8 peak remember we had the two options there so remember that's caused by this proton here it's got that adjacent CH3 we're happy with that um, if the environment could be H to C to N well we've got that there H to C to N it could have also been H to C to C to one door well it's that as well so that works and so that is actually the right answer now often with these there's more than one possible answer or one possible structure 
So another structure that works, and some of you might have gone for this, is CH3, CH. And then instead of that bond down to the nitrogen, you could have an OH. And then if we go along here, we could put a C double bond O in there. And then an NH2 group on the end. So it's effect this is like a hydroxyamide.